Aha, uh -huh. hello, welcome back to Disco Elysium. Today, today, we will find the killer, clearly. We're definitely not going to do that, but we're going to advance the story. Um, just talking to a friend. Just a friend, somebody that knows a little bit more about this game than I do. Um, and they have suggested that I need to get through to t uh, Titus. Like, I have to pass that authority check. They didn't really say anything past that. They just said, please pass that check because I've, I should have already passed it by now. That is like an important one. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick save. And then I'm going to dump a point into authority. And then I'm going to go talk to him. And we're going to keep doing that until we get the, uh, the check because if I don't, if I don't pass it and it locks again, I don't know what to do. And this playthrough might just be me wasting time until it ends. And I think that is inherently boring. So we won't be doing that. We will be trying, tr emphasis on trying, to get through to Titus so that we can advance in the story. I'm currently using a Hyperkin Duke which is like the big Xbox controller that mocks the original Xbox controller. And the left trigger is kind of broken. So uh, it's going to be fun trying to flip through the menus and uh, it wants to do other things. But that's okay. We're smart people. We'll figure it out. Um, first, let's get on all my uh, my authority clothes. We're going to make sure that... I already got plus one in authority somewhere. We're going to make sure that uh, Titus knows who he's dealing with. Of course. As I sit here and figure it out. That was take away authority. Definitely don't use those. That How does the piss for the jacket take away from authority? I don't get it. I feel like it adds authority. Like, I demand to be respected with this on my back. Okay, so it's just the hat that I have. Okay, before we walk in, we're going to add the skill point. Authority. 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 Where is it at? Right there. Oh my god, that's right. I can't raise it anymore. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's you again. What is it? I forgot I can't raise my authority anymore. I've completely spaced that part of my uh, my character building, and it's locked. This sucks. This sucks. Um. Oof. Um. Uh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hello. Someone seems to have found himself a bottle of alcohol. Here's where the magic happens. What a solid can of mass-produced piss water. Well over 10% alcohol in this so-called beer. Pop it open before it gets too warm. Wow, the gods of mass production have made this alcohol container laughably easy to open. A child could have done it. I'm going to open it. There's a satisfying pop as the cap comes off, and the hair on your back rises like an army at attention. You've been here before. Welcome back, detective. What will You're be the home now. repercussions if I take that set? Nothing. Some mental stuff. Nothing to be worried about. Physically, you'll be strong as an ox. I'm going to take a sip. This is the first alcohol sip of the playthrough. A golden sun melts down your throat. Its rays filling your nostrils with sunshine. Your stomach melts from it into a happy, gooey mess. So does your mind. Mm. All the bad things are melting. You're you again. A real cop. Mm -hmm. A real detective. Incredibly well done. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there's an alcohol button. 
Alcohol gives plus one to physique skills. Physical instrument, half light, electrochemistry, endurance, pain threshold, and shivers. This is good before rolling a white check, mm. but damages your morale. And remember. From the void we came. That didn't do anything. Ooh, I feel like I got the wrong dice. Oh boy. Icosahedral red die. Flubbin' shuzz, man. All endurance white checks unlocked. Learning cap. Okay. Because those would be the ones that I have. Let's see. Composure, encyclopedia. Man. I'm in it right now. Yeah, but it costs a point to forget a thought, and that's what sucks. <sighs> Man, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Closer. Trying to exhaust some dialogue options. I've threatened to arrest Titus. Uh, you confess to murder, I'm taking you in. I'm gonna step even closer. Look, coppers, I know you think you're doing your job here, but there are seven of us and two of you. He doesn't actually want to hurt you. There's an easy way out of this. A self-deprecating joke. Fine, I only have one pair of handcuffs anyway. Good one. You need to go cool off right now, copper. That won't be necessary. We'll be on our way for now. It's you again. What is it? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. This is what happens if you take the law into your own life. Let them come. You heard the man. Yeah. The mood is on the rise. Here we go. They're feeling confident, ready to punch out the whole Merc platoon. Do you know a single Siray's giant hornet can kill 40 bees in a minute? Mercenaries are armed with automatic weapons. We got weapons of our own. We got Esther 50s, Zila guns. Glenn's got a knock cannon at home. Will they pierce ceramic armor? I guess we're gonna see, aren't we? That was an unsure phrasing. See what? That they don't? Yeah, like you've been up against ceramic armor. You haven't even seen the whole suit, right? I've seen the whole fucking thing, and it didn't make him immortal. It's Cornell's bad news, you know that, right? <laughs> so are the local gangs. The fucking Barmy army and the Madre scum. You've been out there. Seen any around? Yeah. What are they now, huh? Send back to Madre in an airtight cargo crate. These people are trained military professionals. Mm -hmm. Special forces, as you said. They're not a gang or Barmy army. No, they're not. They're uncoordinated and drunk. We know more about them than you think. Uh, did you know that a single Ceres giant hornet can kill 40 bees a minute? The fuck is that supposed to mean? You're the bees, they're the hornet. We're not bees, we're men. 
We're socialists. Easy, E. He's trying to phase you. What are you trying to do? Scare my men? Joyce said they've gone rogue. Nobody is controlling them. Big fucking surprise. Cool, okay. What do you mean? Okay. I mean, okay. They're going to wipe you the fuck out, Titus. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. He really doesn't like you ruffling their feathers like that on what might be the eve of battle. All he means is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. Whew, I saved myself. This wasn't a solution I looked up. I just fucking found it. Oh my god, what a save. We're going to forever remember episode 39, 10 and almost 11 minutes in, Cyrus saves himself from having to fucking start over. Holy hell. Okay. I'm going to take off for now. That was a huge save. That was a saving throw, and I, I put it down at 19. 20 would have been just what happened right then and there. All right, dude. It's you again. What is Let's it? advance, please, for the love of the playthrough. I'm going to establish my massive authority skill. I only have an authority of six, but I've gained plus one about the drug trade. I've confronted him about that. Plus two forever asking me to cooperate. Gained another point for discussing the eighth hardy that isn't with them, but I lost a point because I was weak when we first met. If it wasn't for that, I'd be pretty perfect right now. Um, I've warned them about the tribunal. Those are the two points I just gained, and I have plus one for finding a witness. I'm going to establish my authority with a 92% skill roll. I honestly don't see me failing because that would be extremely detrimental to completing the game. And I feel like the game would have a countermeasure to prevent me from completing the game. Correct? Correct. As you look around this room full of sweating, <sighs> swearing, drinking, spitting out tobacco, does this look familiar? Where have I seen this before? You believe the place was called Precinct 41. It was also filled with, almost exclusively, men. Sitting on desks, talking shit, and wasting time. I get it, Titus. You guys really are the authority around here. Oh. Can I can't believe we're getting through to Titus on day five. Day five. This is my bad. I should have been harping tart at Titus from the start. Noted. You must be, you're, you're just like real cops, drinking beer and sitting around with your dicks in your hand. You got a problem with beer now? I got a problem with dicks. Not quite there yet. Push on. <laughs> no, I'm also a big fan of beer and jerking off instead of helping people. You saying we don't help people? I've been doing this job for ten years. Martin A's was a dump before we put this outfit together. Okay, as I recall, you guys have just been sitting around doing not a damn thing for five days. They don't know, man. They weren't here. We had three shootings a week, kids dead, fucking graffito everywhere. You cops haven't shown up since the 30s. Hey, 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 whoa, let's not place blame on other people. Congratulations on the graffito removal. All I see is you sitting around talking about Monica's titties while there's a rape victim. Ooh, Kim. Oh, serve it up. So what? What do you want from me? We took care of that fuck. Don't let him drink that. One more push. Quick. Just don't antagonize him. You have this already. Just don't antagonize him. You have this already. It's not about who did it. It's about the victim. She needs help. Titus? She stops mid-sentence. That's it. You got him. He's going to give it up, but on his terms. You want to help her, cop? Fine. I'm going to let you help her, but you treat her with respect. If you don't, if you question her, harass her, a freight train of pain, buddy. What is her name? Glossia. I'm on duty. She's standing here at the whirling in rags. A real pretty one. Silvery jumpsuit. Blonde. That's Amandu with an O. Is that the is that the lady upstairs? Shit. The girl. 
The girl up Beat you to it. That can't be her. She knows you drank so hard you forgot you were a cop. <laughs> Miss Orange Orangi disco dancer? Sure. Why not? You've probably seen her around. We're gonna really fail a speech check right here. Fuck it. All right. Classier Amandu. Cool. You inexplicably add cool after the victim's name, with your eyes bulging like some wild beast. Your fingers are fidgeting and sweat starts forming on your brow as Titus looks at you oddly. I don't understand what's so cool here. Um, well, um, uh, ooh, nothing. Don't hurt me. We just have a few more questions. Then we'll be on our way. Whatever you do, do not tell him you know her. That would sound off, calm, normal. Try to forget this little hiccup. <clears throat> so, uh, what was her relationship with the mercenary? Relationship? There was no fucking relationship. He raped her. That's their relationship. It was like that karaoke incident all over again. Or like some of the other girls he was harassing. Okay, enough. All of this is irrelevant to your stated investigation. So the, uh, the rape, when was that? He did it before we killed him. He's not going to do it again. So what does it matter? It would help if we establish a timeline. All right. Two weeks, maybe. I don't know. I need another beer. Here you go, boss. So what is your relationship with her? I know her. How well do you know her? Well enough, copper. We party. She's been here for a few months. Ooh, so she's not from around here? You mean Revachol? Nah. Our Miss Aranye disco dancer is an immigrant or a drifter of some sort. Been staying over here over the winter. Y'all let me say Renji like I'm in fucking Japanese class. My bad. That's my bad. Horiyanye. That's what the J's mean in this game. Jamais vu. Don't you give her any more trouble. She's just had some bad luck, that's all. Come. Shut up, Angie. She doesn't need your help. Titus gives them both a look. They fall silent. Gives them that Titus look. What's with all the silences? It's like these guys don't know how to feel about this. You should keep picking at it. And what was up with the party she and Titus did? It sounded fun. Do I care about the partying? Yeah, let's see. You said we partied. Cool, that's cool. But what did you mean? What do you think I meant? <laughs> Sex, drugs, and karaoke, right? Yes. Yes. And no. Got something to say about it? So you're saying the two of you were close? No. We just fucked. That's all. I'm not gonna give you any details if that's what you're after. So put your dick away. Kim, my other pants, please. He really went out of his way to seem comfortable with this topic. That's all you're gonna get for now. Appreciate it. He's doing a good job here. A commendable performance of I don't give a shit. Okay, fine. Uh, thank you. We'll talk to her. Remember what I said. Okay. Right? Train to pain. Got it, dude. We are investigating the crime, finally. Officer, what was that? You mean the sweating and fidgeting when he mentioned her name? Yes. And the sort of quivering jello thing with the eye? Yes. It is art. It's an art thing. You wouldn't understand. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Shut up, drama. Uh, I think I know that woman. The victim? Is there something I should know before we talk to her? Whatever you do. Don't say the first thing. <clears throat> Don't break my fourth wall game. I can say whatever I want. I met her in the hallway after I woke up. Understood. You were not in good shape on Monday. She knows I didn't remember being a cop. Okay, that's manageable. And I tried to hit on her. Understood. Uh, better not to add anything to that. Hmm. What else did you do? Nothing. Let's move on. 
We'll be all right, Lieutenant. This is nothing. Is it, though? Nothing? You're still in for a bumpy ride here. Try not to mess it up. That was an all-time clutch performance in a Disco Elysium run-through. I went from not being able to uh, dump any more points into authority to uh, progressing. Okay, that's Kim's room. The door is closed. Knock. Who is it? <gasps> Finally, an answer. Tired. Controlled. This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. Okay. Hello. <gasps> Do we just start digging through her stuff? Yeah, we are. Hotel bill calculations look like she had an extended stay. Piles of dirty clothes belonging to that of a woman. <gasps> a window. You see the yard below. The corpse is no longer there. Can you imagine if it was? This medicine cabinet is full of wares. Sheets of pills haphazardly stacked one on top of the other. There's also a toothbrush somewhere in there. Look at the medications. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves. Sheet upon sheet of pill bottle next to pill bottle. Acetylic acid, APAP, eye drops, blood thinners. Ah, uh, there's quite the collection in here. Anything of not? I'm gonna search the bottles. Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. Paracetamol, histoperidol, something in a foreign language you can't read. Behind them, an unusually shaped nasal spray. Its label reads, Necra. Necra? This is used to treat opioid overdoses. Always handy to have around. Necra, opioid antagonist. Interesting. That's used for diamorphine overdoses. Hmm. I'm going to search the pill sheets. Among some foreign, probably Mycenaean or Gottvaldian, marked red blister packs you find. What do you find? This is going to take a little know-how. Uh, is there something more interesting here? A bright orange bottle with preptide stamped on it. In sunny, happy letters. Jackpot, baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic container. Ah, oh, wire. Okay. And your chest swells with pride. Look, it's made right here in Revachol by San Baptiste, a proud Revacholian pharmaceutical company with great traditions. Lieutenant, I also see a bottle called Preptide. Preptide, a euphemism for pharmaceutical amphetamine. Prescription speed. Hmm. The fuck are you waiting for? Let's get super fucking preppy. Absolutely not. I like that we uh, told Kim about it. So, what's so exciting about this orange bottle? It's speed, man. Just what you were looking for. Okay, whatever. They call it dextro. Just take it in plain sight. Yeah, no, let's not. <laughs> I want to see this that toothbrush. Hold up. Is it's been used quite a lot. That's it. Cool. I thought it'd be weird to look at somebody's toothbrush, and I guess uh, that that was right. That is very right. It is very weird. It's very odd. Hmm. Thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Okay. There's a bed. The bed has been hastily made. There's a window. This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to it. Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. Run your finger across the surface of the glass. Smooth as ice. Move my mic. There are spots of mud and rain on the outside, even smudges. But the surface of the window is clear from the inside. No chips, no hairline fractures. Okay. Following your lead, the lieutenant leans in closer to inspect the surface. The, this window was recently replaced. Looks like it, yes. Okay. I'm going to leave. It's good information or no? Those are stairs. Ooh, a doormat. Let's 
The smell of cigarette smoke is in the air. Astra. Menthol. <gasps> the roof. There's Kuno up there in the top left. Hello, Kuno. How are you doing? Loser. Cold coffee and an ashtray that looks like a hedgehog. Look, a handful of dried white wildflowers. Just as you look at the flowers, a gust of wind raises them from the roof, picking them up in the air. Nope. Nope. We ain't doing that. Nope. Mm -mm. My morale's already taken a couple of hits. Welcome to the roof. Okay. The young woman has a cigarette in one hand and a cup of coffee in the other. Below her silvery jumpsuit, an athletic young body, built long and lean. I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Uh, is there a cleaning lady? I think I need one. Oh, yes. Legends of room number one have made their way around the building. They say a portal to hell has opened in there. Disco Inferno. They also say that's why the cleaning lady quit. Because of the Inferno. Damn straight. Get with the program. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I'm a detective from Prison 57. I believe you have already met my colleague from Prison 41. Have I ever? Have you grown accustomed to your role as a police officer? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel oh, yeah. Power. I've grown accustomed to the power, miss. I can see that. It suits you. There is the tiniest bit of flattery in there. The way her eyes move from your shoulder to shoulder. Mm hmm. Miss. We are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. Okay, Anne. Oh, I see. Be careful. Ask something else first. When you go there, use words like, I hear you have been through something difficult. No need to dilly-dally. She's tough. Thanks, coach, but I think I'll... Dilly dally this time. No need to dilly dally. She's tough. I'll go straight to. Uh, I don't want to sound like a namby pamby. Uh, the physical instrument had a medium success, so we're gonna have to go with that one because it was Good tougher. Boy. She can take it. What is your name, Miss? For the record. Holy shit! <laughs> Oops. Clausier Amondu. Same name that Titus gave you. It sounds Oranese, as does her accent. Are you from Origny? Right, sir. Vredefort, Republic of Oranje. I guess you could say I am an Oranese expatriate. Are you ready for this? Uh, what is Oranje? A bad memory, officer. The Republic of Oranje is a democratic nation. Don't care. Don't care. I don't care, Encyclopedia. We're done. We're done talking to you. <clears throat> Encyclopedia is good for the lore of this game. I'm interested in just solving this murder. Understood, miss. It's the past. People can't go back to the past. Thankfully, it's implied. Um, how old are you? I'm 28. What do you do, miss? What is your specialization? Something stupid. What's or that? Lit. Or an lit. Or an literature. It's what I studied at the university. What is your knees literature about? Fear of failure, fear of death, how it sucks to be a knees. All national literatures are... Only the name of the nation changes. What about Revisholian literature? People sometimes reveal things about themselves when they discuss such matters. Revisholian literature too? No. Revisholian lit is about how magnificent and serious Revisholian is. It's about how you have to save the world. I have no intention of doing that. That's just a phase the Revisholian hero goes through. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. She's right, she's right. Don't know why I did that. Okay. Before they plunge into full core humanity and world saving. She seems quite relaxed for a victim of assault. But, of course, what seems should not be your priority. Can we take a look at your passport, please? I'm afraid you can't, officer. Why is that? Because it's buried in a sealed plastic bag at an undisclosed location on the coast, along with cash and airline tickets. Thank you for your candor. Why? They say so in your tourist brochure. Keep travel documents away from your person when west of the river. 
Well, how do I know I have... Uh, you've told us your real name. If I were to lie to you, I would come up with a more mainstream name than Clausier Mondu. Clausier Mondu? It's a weird name. She seems to be telling the truth, sire. Okay, then. Okie dokie. All right, thank you. That's it for the record. The record? So official. All right, you ready? <clears throat> they tell us you were raped. It's a bit early in the morning for raped, isn't it? No, it's not that early. She looks around. The sun has risen over the sea. People are rushing to work below. It is 10.30, to be fair. It is. It's murderously early. I'm amazed I'm awake. Why am I even awake? So where are you? Yeah. I'm going to go with not raped. I don't want to say that shit about him. By him, she must mean the victim. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more, uh, rapable. It's all very organic. Her mannerisms, her movements. If she's acting, she's quite gifted. By they, she means the Hardy Boys. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery... Sexual assault, maybe. It was clear the latter would be spicier. So, Titus asked you to spice things up for us. Pretty much. Hmm. Warming them. So, are you sure you... <laughs> this is a dumb question. What did happen between you and the victim? We partied. Wait, partied? Where have I heard that before? A lot of partying going on. From Titus, about her and Titus's relationship. That's where you heard it. Hmm. What kind of partying? What kind I do? With all due respect, sir, I think we partied a little harder than that. No one partied <laughs> harder than this. Keep pointing at your face. I didn't know it was physically possible. Oh, it is. You're still alive. Ah, so are you. What did you do when you partied? Thank you, Kim. We were just going to keep pointing at my face. We drank. Sir, a lot. For weeks, basically. We had that effect on each other. We made each other drink harder. That's why I liked him. What else? Stimulants. Speed also has that effect, making you drink harder. And then drinking harder makes you do more speed. It's quite the combination. So you were we lovers. You were lovers. I guess you can say that, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Lovers is such an emotional word. But there was something there. We did enough drugs for there to be. Okay, okay. How did you two meet? Downstairs. At the bar. He was on some sort of assignment. Uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool, scary scar. She appears aloof. But that scar part... The scary is stressed and drawn out. What's that about? When was this? A month ago? Some pretty much. Warming them. Hmm. Okay. It must have been hard for you seeing them there. Oh yes. I've had a great view. From the roof, out of the bathroom window, in my dream. A bitter cringe. It Hurts. You look to the lieutenant. You called us, the RCM. F uh, figured it out, finally. Notched that one in our notebook. Yes. We found the woman who called the RCM. Jackpot. The call reporting the hanging. That was you. I made it. And I would appreciate it, it if you didn't tell everyone. In Martinez, they call it snitching. Reporting crimes is confidential in Ravachol, miss. Before we go on, if it's snitching, then why do it? Because I couldn't handle it anymore. None of these people called. He just kept hanging there. Then they started stripping him. Before uh, the caller's voice was disguised. I didn't exactly disguise it. I just muffled the mic and nicked the landline a little. Nicked it how? With nail clippers. And I diverted some radio fuzz into it. So, she's God's mystery phone cutter. Ah, and in the process, you broke the landline downstairs. 
Did I? Fuck. I didn't mean to. I had no idea what I was doing. This is insane because the whole game I was just wondering and sitting on these questions when it was all upstairs. Ready for me to figure it out. Jigsaw falling into place. This is satisfying. Good catch. I appreciate the symmetry. Still, that's pretty clever tempering. Simple and clever. Crossing the lines like that. Seems like he had some idea. That was nifty. Thanks. She looks a bit like a little girl who's just been complimented on her bike repair skills. Why go through all the trouble? I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. I was probably afraid the union was listening in. Locals say they have ears in the wires. We're not entirely convinced about that answer, but okay, let it slide. Pushing won't help here. Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, you'd still be hanging there. What can you tell me about him? Name, eyes, age. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. I keep seeing him. I know it's difficult, okay. miss. We can return to it later. What, why, what did they hang him for, if not rape? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since I got here. Rotten timing. But you probably know all about it. And his role in the strike was what? I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military, worked for Wild Pines, and against the Union. We didn't discuss work much, if you know what I mean. But I understood it was dangerous. And they lynched him for it? She nods. Oh. Oh, that's cold. Uh, how do the Hardy Boys know you? They're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for union members. Oh, fuck, I didn't. They're probably down. I did not. I was just clicking shit, being funny. <sighs> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Did it? Mm, I gotta pull that up. I don't think I can. I think. This whole playthrough, I sit here and I fidget and I go, ha ha, click the sticks. Yeah, now it does something. Cool. Anyways, she said, they're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for union members. They're probably down there now. And how did you meet? Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. Did you party? A little, yeah. Like you partied with the deceased? No, not as hard. I'm sorry to have to ask this. But have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? I have. Which one? Which ones, sir? I don't remember precisely. Titus, obviously. But as I said, it's been a long winter. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? Could that be why they lynched him? Jealousy? I hope not. Actually, I know that's not the reason. I'm careful about that kind of thing. Not crossing the wires, you know? But that's probably where they got the rape idea. What do you mean? Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like to do to me. She changes balance from one foot to another, crossing her legs. Are you sure you weren't raped? I'm 89% sure. Does that mean you're 11% not sure? You know how it is. Do you? Do I? Hmm. Maybe you don't. In conclusion, officer, I'm gonna go with a mild to medium not raped here. Sexual assault is a serious matter. I need a serious statement from you. Serious. You hear cracking in her shoulders. Let me make this 100% clear then, officer. I was not sexually assaulted. Would I be this flippant if I had been? Huh? Maybe. I don't know. We all handle things differently. Thank you for telling us all this, miss. She breathes a silvery sigh of relief and weariness. The air on the roof feels humid. Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. Um, I had something else before we go. A little thing. She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. I noticed your room is close to mine. I have a personal question. Yes. You're just one room away. 
Very personal. Good. Yes. This means she could have heard something. Like what you were doing before you blacked out. Were you in Sunday night? I need to know what I did before I lost my memory. You do not need to know that. Yes, what I you do. Need is to ask normal police questions. Like... Um... Uh, nice room you've got here. Yeah. It's pretty deluxe. That window is new. It is. The lieutenant makes a note in. What are you doing here at the Whirling in Rags? I'm wintering. How long have you been staying here? About four months. I came in November. Why here? Here in the Whirling, here in Martinez, or here in Ravishol? Here in Martinez. I heard this is where the washed up disco has been go. Ah, you came to the right place. She looks at you and nods. Okay, fine. You have quite the collection of prescription drugs down there. Thank you. I've put a lot of time and effort into it. Technically, possession of narcotics is legal in Revachon, but you should still reprimand her. No, no, don't listen to the stiff. Be cool. No further questions. I always heard you are... Okay. We are 100% not going to look her in the eye. Absolutely not. Not with a check of two. Why not? Ooh. I was just thinking. Do I have a script of what she just said? She just said somewhere at 11. Damn it. Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. Half their reasoning just went out the window. Think this will make them cooperate? Nothing will make them respect the RCM. But it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. We just tripped off one layer of whatever it is. Her decision to not corroborate their story was definitely not part of the plan. So why did she tell us all of that? What else could she have done? Lie? She saw there was no way to lie and get away with it. You would have caught it. I would have caught it. If not you, then me. It was a smart move from her. She seems candid. You think so? Being candid is the best way to lie. The appearance of candor with some facts thrown in draws attention away from whatever one chooses to omit. She may be trained to control the pace of the investigation. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our inquiries will bring us back here soon enough. It's probably in my logbook what time I should come back. Let me see. When Kim's not around to stop you. Ah, okay. Ask Klaje about what she heard from her room the night before you merged into reality. She must know something. Clausier told you she can't talk about him now, but you need specifics. Ask a little later when she has collected herself. Got it. Um, confront the Hardy Boys about what I just heard. Uh, hey, Hardy Boys. Something ain't adding up. What's in this door? The same small, heavy door. No lock in sight. What does this lead to? I don't know, Lieutenant Euphrater. It is not the first closed door we found in this building. Ah. There is also your mysterious blue kitchen door. Do you think it's important? I don't know. The further we get, the more this building seems to be tied to the case. The vigilantes, the cadaver, and a number of people connected to the case are in or around this building. This door is part of it. It's not unimportant. Push. It's barred from the inside. Got it. We ain't doing anything right now. Imagine if that's where she keeps the other drugs. Oops, not that. I want to go down the stairs. She's like, oh, you ready for the drugs sequel? The sequel to the drugs? I wonder if I can kill Kim and go into his room. I mean, ask Kim kindly if we can go into his quarters. See what he's up to. Hello. Nice of you to notice me. All right, Titus. It's you again. Answer. What is it? I'm going to uh, save in case my morale keeps dipping. I think that's a smart thing to do. Okay. It's you again. What is it? I mean, what is it? Oh, don't, don't strong arm me, sir. Um, let's go over the rape victim again. Again? Seriously, man. Okay. Yeah. Glossier yeah. says she wasn't raped. Fuck. I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. <gasps> Don't admit to it, Titus. Keep your composure. You've hit a nerve. Titus is furious. No, more than that. 
the loyal Titus feels betrayed. For the record, Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify the victim as a whore, nor did he say anything about trusting her. Hey, uh, shut the fuck up. Oh, shut up and stay out of this, Liz. He raped her. He was out of his fucking mind. You have no idea. She's just in denial, asshole. You don't understand the traumatic experience. She's shutting down. And she doesn't fucking trust you. Yeah, she's crazy, you know. <laughs> a crazy bitch. You know the type. She's fucked up. This is a diversion. Stay on track. Cut the bullshit. She told me the truth. Lawman. I'm at the end of my goddamn rope with you. I fucking told you not to push her. His hands become fists. And you went and pushed her. I am gonna fucking... Titus Hardy. Finally. Smartest thing she has said this entire playthrough. Success. Titus backs off. Fists down, everybody. Let's get him put back up. Let's go. God damn. No one tells you to put your fists down. Everett personally sent me to take care of this. If this goes south, we'll all be in the shit. But you, Titus Hardy, are going to be buried. Am I understood? When she's angry, she emphasizes the S. It gives her voice a strangely hypnotic quality. Her lips barely move as she speaks. Someone has to rush in to break the tension. The second in command. Look, Copper. We know that that fuck was a rapist and a killer. We got him confessing to it on tape. Show it to him, T. What's the harm, right? Here, jerkwad. Listen to this shit. And then come back and tell me the soldier of the apocalypse was an innocent man. This is their last play, this tape. Their story is in tatters. A mess. It might be nice to listen to. But at this point, you don't need to. Why should I care about the tape? You lied to me. You don't care about evidence. The fuck are you a cop for then? Well, the victim says it didn't happen. Fix, T. They don't care about getting the truth. They care about getting convictions. They are fucking keeping a score on their bulletin boards. Yeah, I have it on my ledger. You should check it out. I won't be on your bulletin board. If you don't listen to the tape, we got nothing to talk about. There's a lot of questions. If you ask them now, they'll just keep bringing up the tape. Listen to it, and they'll have nothing to hide behind. So what's on this tape? What's on it? We call it the Dorgon Omega Mix. You'll know why. Won't you listen to it? Now that is intriguing. You had me at Dorgunner. Okay, well, where did you get the tape? You think we go into this shit deaf and dumb? You RCM aren't the only ones who know how to bug people. There's no university degree for that. Hmm. Actually, there are a few. Crypto analyst. Radio officer. Actually, there are numerous degrees you can get in signals intelligence. Yeah, like you have one. Smart ass. Uh, smart ass. I'll tell you about this morning. Yeah. So you bug them? How? We have machines. We're in logistics. How do you think a harbor works? It's advanced stuff. Understood. You've listened in on their communications. How long? Since way before their chief started taking swing lessons. Things got nice and quiet after that. Which one of you is doing this advanced radio work then? It's not advanced. You just hold up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. It gets hot as hell in there. Don't put yourself down, Angus. It's important work. Yeah, man. You're like a radio genius. Okay, fine. That's all I got for now. Don't forget your tape, lawman. Fine, I'll take it. Compliments are tight as hard. You do that. Oh, and keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder. Shut up. That's what I say. That's what I think of you, Titus. Ever hasn't paid me enough for this. Yeah, no shit, woman. Listen to the door gunner mega mix. All right, let's do it. Where is my book? The 
transporter reel is just what you needed. The reels attach to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is rooted behind the magnetic reader. Play the tape. You push, command set, and the tape starts spinning. Violent static and machine sounds fill the air. This isn't Remishan. This is a fucking village. I can almost see the elephants. The harbor. That's the son of a Valsun crane. Oh. He's right. He's oh, thank you, interfacing. When this shit is done, I'm gonna tear that place up. Soldier of the apocalypse style. Kill shit. Dogs and chickens too. Gonna run a room, Cordy. A real nice room. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking done. I'm done mentally. I'll fucking do them all in. Rape that disco con on the counter. You know, the dance a whore upstairs. Do it Kohoi style. Never did get that taste out of my mouth. The lieutenant presses the button marked Arete. Stop. On the the tape stops. I mean, stop in French. I know that one. Thank you, high school French. I learned a little bit. What was that at the very end? The s silence? End of recording. Nice. What do you think? It seemed authentic enough. Probably recorded off the shortwave, then edited to seem more incriminating. He sounded like he was on patrol around the harbor walls. I agree. He also sounded inebriated. Still. Huh. Uh, who's this Cordy? One of the other mercenaries, I think. The one he was talking to. A friend of his. W who is this Kahoy? A village on the Samaran Isola in South South. Mm. Grad committed war crimes there. The kind of thing he talks about. The South Safari conflict is an ongoing... Yeah, yeah, we got it. You think he was there? Who knows? Maybe the tattoos would have an answer. We would need to know the story of this man's service. A symbol of soldier of the apocalypse style conduct <laughs> in a civil environment. I'll get him. What now? I think we've got a few more questions for class here, don't you? This seems to contradict her testimony, at least to some degree. As you take out the tape, the boombox tunes itself back to the cheery radio again, spewing out beats like it's a Friday night. Clutch of the year. We'll pick up on Clutch of the Year in the next episode. We're gonna talk back to Classier. I think we're just gonna go back and forth with Titus and Classier. Maybe make it somewhere. We'll probably have a lead, maybe actually saw uh, get closer to solving this case. My biggest worry is how much time. We're on day five for something I should have done day two, day three at latest. We'll find out though. This is interesting. Maybe I won't solve the murder. But I'll get close. And we might help Suna with their project. And I think that's the real win in the end. Well, until next time, uh, I clutch. Straight out clutch.